This is a video of sutureless intrascleral lens fixation with wedge-shaped self-sealing sclerotomy wounds. This technique is first described by Ernst Jens van Rensburg in 2019 in the Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery. Describing a technique for patients with insufficient capsular support requiring posterior chamber intraocular lens fixated to the sclera. First, we create two parotomy wounds 180 degrees apart, bearing 3 mm of bare sclera. Marker is used to mark 0 and 180 degrees. A three step corneoscleral wound is created, or you can use previous cataract surgery wound. A scleral radial cut down of 50% is created on both sides centering at 2 mm from the limbus. Paracentesis is then performed. Triamcinolone is inserted, followed by anterior vitrectomy, to ensure that there is no residual vitreous. This is a cross-sectional diagram of the self-sealing sclerotomy wounds. A half-depth radial scleral cutdown is formed, followed by two step incisions to create a wedge. Here you see it in action. Following the radial cutdown, a microvitreal retinal blade is used to create the step incisions inferior and superior to the radial cutdown. The same is repeated on the opposite side. The creation of the stab incisions is angled at 30 degree using the blade parallel to the limbus and directed inferiorly. A three piece intraocular lens is inserted. Four steps are passed through the sclerotomy wounds. Using a handshake technique, the tip of the haptic is scraps and slowly pulled out from the sclerotomy wounds, externalizing it. The same is repeated on the other side, bearing in mind the first haptic has to be grasped by an assistant. An equal and opposite force, pulling on the haptic and externalizing it again. Ensure that the length of the haptic externalized is similar on both sides. Once you're happy with the position of the haptic, a flange tip is created using cautery. Ensure good IOL centration by making sure that the haptic is sitting snugly right at the most anterior part of the sclerotomy wounds. This prevents torque. Once you're happy with the position, you can internalize both tips. At conclusion of surgery, the wound should be checked for leakage and the eye pressure checked. Antibiotics and steroid can be injected. This technique has the advantage of easy to learn, safe and effective. There is good lens centration and stability. Also, there's ease of availability of instruments without requiring special needles or intraocular lens. There's also no need to pass any intraocular sutures. It avoids strain and torque on the intraocular lens. There's also less risk of exposure due to the haptic tip internalization.